Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within Long War. So, here we are yet again back in the base, we got a couple nice things on the horizon here. Satellites and ammo conservation in a day, mobile power armor in three. Let's scan for activity and see what happens here. Alright, we got our two satellites, very nice. That will allow us to... Coat North America once we get access to the satellite nexus in five days. Ammo conservation, very nice, that I believe gives us one extra shot for all of our weapons. Very nice, especially for weapons that start with low ammo. Eh, France wants two UFO power sources. I can't give those to you, France. I can't. Lots of people coming back to active duty. Very nice. Mobile power armor research complete. Let's assign some new research then. That gets us Banshee armor, Aegis armor, upgraded mech armor, and Shiv defenses. So this is a grapple. High mobility armor. Shiv defenses, Aegis armor, looks like Sleeveless Titan. The Mech 2, very nice, alright. We can go straight for advanced power armor. We might even just do this, get ourselves more tanky armor as soon as we can. I have a feeling this is going to be really expensive stuff though, so before we start that, we're going to go over to engineering and take a look at the stuff that we've got. In the armors, we just got Aegis armor, which is 151 credits each. Jeez. And 25 alloys and 10 Illyrium. And it's a 7 health bonus heavy armor. That may reduce movement. Quite, ser quite significantly, in fact. And Banshee armor is a 3 health bonus grapple light armor with a big mobility increase. Okay. Does Kestrel armor have a big mobility increase as well? No, it just says very light armor. Okay, so it looks like Banshee armor is really good for getting around quickly. As well as giving you the grapple and a bit of health bonus. And Aegis armor is tanky armor. Seven health bonus, but heavy. Is Carapace armor heavy armor? Carapace armor is medium armor. Okay. So that Aegis armor is probably going to slow down the people we give it to. We may want to look at the next tier and see what the options are there. I don't know exactly how this works, though. Let's take a look at the armor we're already wearing. The armor that we're currently wearing is probably medium armor. It's light armor. Oh, boy. <laughs> XCOM soldiers will appreciate it if a better armor development is given a high priority. I'm sure they will. Allow soldiers to move at full speed. Okay, so it looks like any of the armors we get are going to put a serious speed damper on our team, so we may just have to deal with that when we get to it. We're not going to be building armors till the end of the month anyway, though, so we might as well keep going. Although, you know what? I'm thinking it's about time we did another intel scan, because we haven't been attacked again by Exalt yet, and we normally can get twice in a month if we're unlucky, and I bet you, I bet you there'll be another one coming soon. So, we're going to intel scan here. It costs 75 credits, which kind of sucks, but it'll save us money in the long run, I'm sure. So, if we intel scan now, what does that give us? Intel scan complete. Argentina and Nigeria only. Confirmed. Well, those aren't great locations for us to go to because there's no kind of panic reduction bonuses we can get. Let's send somebody to Argentina, I guess. And I already know who we're going to send. We are not sending you, Majid. We are going to be sending our specialist here, Emma Caper de Groot. Congratulations, you're going to grab yourself your laser pistol, and beyond that, your gear is more or less ready to go. We're going to send you on this mission. Good luck, de Groot. You're going to need it. Alright, let's scan for activity and see if we can get access to those satellite nexuses and such. Look at all these people coming back to duty. And the satellite nexus is complete! Sweet! Alright, that should give us the ability to launch three more satellites. We actually still have the ability to launch for the US? No. That satellite launch bonus is gone. That's too bad, that would have been nice. But, we might be able to get to the Council Report this episode, unless something else attacks us. Japan wants 12 sectoid corpses for a single scientist. Man, you guys are so stingy. I want to get something a bit better for that deal. I guess I probably won't, though. Small scout over India. Alright, scramble the interceptors. Let's send Vance on this one since he has the least kills of anybody. Send him on a balanced approach. He should be able to easily take down this small scout with his super high-powered laser cannon. Does he blow them up utterly? Does he shoot them down? We have to go down there in person? I guess we'll find out. But we're not letting him get away with this. 
One, two, three, and he's down. All right, took a bit of damage in the process, but we shot that sucker down, no trouble. We're gonna have to go there in person, of course, though, so let's send the Sky Ranger and get ready to do so. Clear our squad out. And let's get ready to send some new people in. Okie doke. We're going to a settlement, apparently. We know it's a crash site, though. Look at all those people active again! It's a glorious sight. We actually have a squad again. Alright. Very nice. We have some choice. So we're not going to be bringing three rookies on this mission again, because we actually have some other people to choose from. So let's bring some of our low rankers again. Not all of our bottom rankers, but some of our low rankers. We're not going to bring these two yet. I don't think, anyway. Let's grab... Uh, Who do we want to bring on this mission? We'll bring Fast Lane. We'll bring Gonzalez. We'll bring a bunch of corporals, probably. It's only a small UFO. They should have some nasty enemies on board, but not so much that our guys can't handle it. We'll bring Snake Eyes, a very fast scout. Who else do we bring? Let's bring one of our assaults. Let's bring Vandal, our non sergeant's assault. Who else do we have on our low rankers that we could bring to give us some more variety? Heinrich, you can come on this mission. And we need to bring one or two high rankers to give us some more firepower. Let's bring Nitro as our infantry, and then we'll bring one of our high accuracy rookies here, Greta Johannesson. Johannesson? And one more choice of ours. Maybe a medic wouldn't be a bad choice to keep people alive. We'll bring Congo on this mission. And that should be pretty good. Let's make items available and make sure we equip these people quickly. And then we'll be able to head down there and take this UFO down. So we have our Pulse Sten Gun. There we go. Use that instead. Gonzalez, you are going to be grabbing the Auto Laser. Did I not start any new research yet? I might not have started any research. And if I didn't, I'm extremely silly. But I guess we'll have to go back and see then. Wilson, you are going to grab yourself a arc thrower to go with this. Vandal, you're going to grab yourself a laser shotgun. There you go. And an arc thrower. I really hope I did start a uh, new research project. If not, that was pretty dumb of me. But whatever. Sometimes you got to make mistakes. Laser sniper rifle, give you a scope, there you go. Last two scopes, I think, are gonna wind up going here. So Gonzalez, I'm actually gonna give you a laser sight, laser sight instead, because I can't afford to give away all of our scopes and not give our infantry and sniper one. Nitro, you're gonna keep holding on to that high capacity magazine, because I don't believe you actually have the right gear yet. If I were to look at your... Ooh, we have a lot of pulse lasers in this squad, that's true. I might not have enough to equip our... Uh... Or rookies. Nitro, if I give you your ability check, you do not have lock and load yet, so we'll leave it as it is. Martine, you look geared up already. Johannesson, you need a pulse rifle. I might actually have just enough here. Do I not have any more actual pulse rifles? Nope, you get a pulse carbine then. Congratulations. As well as a scope, and a chem grenade, and a real shirt. There you go. Tactical armor. So, does everybody have the right gear? It looks like it. Alright, we'll make do with this then. So, let's get ready to move out and hopefully deal some damage to this UFO. Let's launch this mission and hope for the best. Alrighty. We're there already. Let's begin the assault and take these suckers down. The area ah, for this, mission this crash will be site. Okie doke, well, let's see what happens. Area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. Cursed chant begins. Bringing some rookies along. A whole bunch of them, in fact. This may be a bad idea, because I'm sure there's nasty, nasty things awaiting us here, but until we explore and find out, there's no way for us to know for sure. Affirmative, big sky. Strike one is Nothing in sight right away. Okay, let's site. boogie up here with Koenig, who can handle it. Understood. Moving out. Where are we? Oh, we're not actually starting at the barn. We're starting at the other side. UFO should be right over here. I think the barn is way over this way. Yeah, because that's the edge over there. 
Hmm. This is an interesting starting position, because it means we're much more likely to immediately find the outsider than we normally would be. Let's move you over to here then, Fisher. You do not have snapshot, so got to be careful about that. Let's move up with Gonzalez. We're going to try and push up with most of our team here, because we want to be in the most forward position we can. Aye, aye, Commander. Got to be wary of enemies coming from our side, though. Let's push up as well with Nitro, get them up to a nice forward position. I don't want to go too far up, though, because if I go all the way over here and trigger enemies, half of our squad already doesn't have an action. So we're going to try and bunker down a little bit this turn. Some of our more important forerunners at the front. Get Snake Eyes over there. There you go. And we'll move Martine and whatnot over to the cover here instead. Not quite as valuable a position, but at least we're not going to die from here, hopefully. To that location. And that means we get to have a couple more Overwatches. Oh, does do you have... I think you might actually have Snapshot, because you had to Overwatch there. I didn't think you did. Well done. Oh yeah, so you do. Fisher has Snapshot. Very nice. Alright, let's run Wilson over to here, see what he sees. Still nothing. Alright then, let's run up with Koenig over to here. Koenig, you have the wrong color armor. After this mission, I'm going to fix your armor so it's normal engineer colors, because right now you just look incorrect. Vandal, let's send you up. There we go. Let's run up with Nitro. I keep thinking you're a rookie on this mission, but you're definitely not. Alright, Gonzalez up to here. Are you not in cover there? Oh, you are. Okay. I don't know what that was going on there with the uh, the overlay. Let's send Martine up to here. There we go. We'll send Fisher up as well. He can only stand there. Hopefully this doesn't trigger enemies, because it is one tile over further than previously. No, we're good. And we're going to send Johansson, Johannesson as well over to here. Greta, let's go. Alright. Overwatch for those who can, and let's see if anything else happens. Enemies are over this way. That's kind of to be expected. Enemies are also over this way. No, no other sound. Okay. Well then, I guess we're going to come take a peek over here, but none of this is cover, is it? Nope, that's all ramp. So this is a real bad place to try and attack up. A real bad place. Let's send Snake Eyes over to here. That's what we're looking for. Still no sight lines on anything. Well, that's worrying. There's two meld canisters, which is real nice, but if we die trying to get them, it's not going to benefit us very much, is it? Let's try and do a little bit more aggressive push here over to this position. Nothing new. Okay, we can grab that meld next turn then. We'll grab it with our medic. I bet you it goes away next turn. I bet you it does. Alright, let's move up though. Johannesson, you're gonna come right over to here. We don't want to be here trying to approach up that hill because there's no cover there. There is cover over here though, so at least we can get into something if we get into trouble. Koenig, you're gonna book it over this way. With your pulse sten gun, you'll be able to give us a bit of cover hopefully. There you go. Send Nitro over to here. We may actually bunker down a little bit this turn and uh, prepare to overwatch as much as possible actually get some defensive fire ready. And you can make it right around the wall. Oh, you can't stand there? Why not? Why can't you stand in this tile? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, whatever. I guess you're gonna come stand over here then, Denise. Since I can't put you where I wanna. Alright. Overwatches. Can we get these meld canisters before they go away? There's another one over there. Wow. Okay, well, these enemies may be a problem. Three meld, oh boy. Oh baby, we're just rolling in it now. Over this way, Wilson, what do you see? Still no enemies. Okay, well, let's move our way up this way into cover. Because that's basically the plan here. Martine, you're going to take an aggressive approach and see if you find anybody. Oh boy, did you ever. Thankfully, though, the Berserker should come right to us and make it a lot easier for us to clear him out. All right. Fisher, what do you see? You see him at an 87% chance, and you see them at a 77. I like that shot as well, but we're going to see about this first. Peters, do you have a good shot at the Berserker? Not yet. 
Snake Eyes should have a good shot of the Berserker. No, that's a terrible shot of the Berserker. I guess he has the... Uh... No, he doesn't. He's just hard to hit. Okay, interesting. You need to bring him towards us, though. That's the thing. Until we bring him towards us, we can't do much else here. Johansson, you need to get into cover. So I'm going to swing you around this way. To protect you from the floaters. You have a 70% shot up there? Hit him, please. That is a big miss. Alright, we need to be doing this a bit more intelligently here. Fire with somebody who has hollow targeting to actually make sure he comes towards us. I'm going to send Koenig up to here. Because you're not in cover yet. And Koenig, you're going to fire at the Berserker. 47% chance is terrible. Please hit him. Thank you. 8 damage is a good hit, too. That Sten Gun does good work when it hits. And that's exactly what we wanted. We brought the Berserker over towards us. So now, Peters, you should have an even better shot at him. 86%. Okay, 40% crit chance, too. Do it. There's a 10 damage hit. That's what we like to see. That should pull him towards us again. Hopefully these Intimidates fail. Nope, Peters panicked. You gotta be kidding me, Peters. I needed you for this. Alright, we need to do a lot of damage in a hurry now because we just lost one of our biggest damage dealers at the moment. I could run up with... Vandal, but Vandal doesn't actually have close and personal yet, so the damage they can do is limited. Let's gun him down with this point blank Gonzalez auto laser. Six damage is six damage. Comes closer. Okay, we should be able to get this guy, but we're running out of options here. Because you've panicked. All we have really left is Vandal. So, Vandal, I'm going to bring you. I want to try and capture this guy, it'd be real nice, but I need you to shoot him. Not him, the one right next to you, you silly person. 100% chance to hit, but only a 30% chance to actually crit him. Can Snake Eyes hit him? 67% chance, can you do it, Snake Eyes? Nice hit, he's down to 1 HP. Should run him over this way, hopefully nobody else panics. Not, we're good. Alright, Denise, if you come here, you can try and stun him. If you stun him, the odds are only 58%. Ooh. If you stun him, can I guaranteed kill him? Some pingly pingly ping in there. Can I guaranteed kill him with Fisher? If I only take a pistol shot, will it kill him? Because if it doesn't kill him, we lose. 98% chance to hit him with that, though. That's pretty good odds. Problem is these guys, though. We just need to kill him. I'd love to get greedy and capture this guy, but he needs to die so that we can make sure we can try and at least kill one of these floaters. Because if he doesn't die and the floaters get free reign, we could be in trouble. Back to the laser sniper. Target this guy. Can you take him out? He's the biggest danger of these ones. That's the miss to me. Yeah, that's a big miss there. We needed that shot, Fisher. Now, this may come over and attack the flank of our medic. Hopefully they don't, though. That's an overwatch. And a flight, okay. So we probably could have taken the risk then, given the way they actually moved, but it would have been a dangerous maneuver to try without any guarantee of safety. Flank me. Do you have a decent shot there, Johannesson? You have a 60% since he's in cover. You could move, but that Overwatch might be able to get you, so what you're going to do instead is we're going to move Snake Eyes over to here. Because Snake Eyes can Lightning Reflexes out that Overwatch, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. He can grab the meld, and then we have an easy chance at shooting this guy as well with some other advanced positions. Three more meld, there we go. Martine, you're gonna move right over to here, and you're gonna blast this guy in the face. Hello, good sir. Do you like being dead? Yes, you do! 11 damage critical, fantastic. Martine's gonna need to come back and rejoin the squad soon, because she's off by herself, but... At least she's in a position where we can get some damage done there, so that's good. I'd love to try and capture these guys, but I don't think it's feasible right now. Also, I'm out of range anyway. Alright. Johannesson, what we're going to do with you is we're going to move you over here. That should give you a flanking position on this guy. There we go. 100% chance to hit him. Do you kill him? Nope, you left him with 3 health. That was possibly the lowest damage you could have conceivably done to a flanked enemy. Well done. Still out of stun range. That's unfortunate there, Wilson. Could have given us a shot at capturing something at least. Let's move up some other rookies here. Who needs some more experience? All of these people, really. I think Vandal is our highest ranking soldier here, though. Heading to that location. Move them up. Well, you have Snapshot Fisher, so I'm going to move you over here. Might take a shot with you, might overwatch with you. We'll see. 
Nitro might actually be our highest ranking soldier as well. Not sure. And let's send Gonzalez up as well. Gonzalez, I think you're going to take the first shot because you have the ability to hollow target for us. Well, that works too. Okay, you just killed him outright. That'll do. Everybody, I think we're just going to overwatch this turn because we need to be careful about leaving our medic so far behind. I will move a couple people up a little bit further though. Clump up a little bit better. And as far as I understand it, last meld is over there. Yep, there it is. So we're going to need to head over that way in a hurry. So let's bring Snake Eyes back over in this direction so they can book it over there if they need to. And that'll be our turn, I think. Three overwatches is better than no overwatches. Alrighty, Medic, you need to run over in this direction. you got a long way to go to catch up with us. Where are you? There you are. All right, Martine, you're going to boogie down to the meld canister for this turn. That'll get you closer, bring your pulse rifle back into reasonable range. Let's run all the way over to here with Wilson. It's a big move, but it's a safe one. Okay, so we need to book it upwards. It's unfortunate that we really will be leaving our medic behind here, but if we don't move up, then we're going to have a hard time capturing this meld and or pushing into this UFO in a reasonable pace as well. So, let's make sure we move up a little That's bit more. Positive. There may be aliens over here we got to watch out for, but for now we're going to push up on the building here, reload to make sure we have ammo if we need it. Koenig. Oh, that's right! Man, that's awesome. We have the advantage of the ammo conservation now. This has three shots in the pulse stem gun instead of two. That's real good. Real good. Alright. Some of these weapons it doesn't make much of a difference for. Like, the shotgun already had a lot of ammo. The auto laser already had a lot of ammo. But some of these, you get a real boost to them. Let's move Fisher over here. There you go. And we found the outsider. How did you see them, but the other people didn't? That's a problem. That's a real big problem. All right. Somehow Fisher spotted them when they didn't. Wow. This could be bad for us. We're gonna get Overwatch ready in case he breaches out of here. Shots fired. Ooh, four damage hit there. That hurts. At least Gonzalez only took a bit of damage there and didn't get anything worse happening. All right, it sucks that we're gonna lose them again to an injury, but... Looks like it was doomed to happen because of our unfortunate timing there. I could try and blow up this wall, which might give us an easy chance of actually being able to see them. So if I move over to here, Moving. we'll try and blow out this corner, and that'll also mean somebody else can move up to that space if they need to. They shouldn't be blowing up any consoles or anything important, though. So we're just going to land an alien grenade right on this guy's face. Not on the outside of the ship, on the inside of the ship, right there. Throw that sucker. Frag out. Only three damage, and no damage to the UFO. Well then. That wasn't quite what I had in mind, game. Hmm. On the plus side, we can throw some other nasty grenades at this guy to make him basically unable to do anything else. So, let us be a little bit aggressive here. We're going to move over here to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, you're going to suppress this guy. That gives us a hollow targeting bonus and suppresses him. In addition, we're going to throw some grenades at him. So, let's take Johannesson. You're going to throw an alien grenade right on him. Or rather, a chem grenade right on him. To gas this guy, so he has reduced mobility and uh, firepower. Mobility and aim, I guess. These the words I'm looking for here. We're going to move uh, Martine up as well. She's going to come over into cover, I think. Possibly high cover right here. But I want to get her into a position where if anything else comes onto the map to bother us, because we haven't killed it yet, we're ready for it. Because a, a strange feeling, six enemies isn't all we're going to get to face here. Let's move up as well with Denise James, who's going to come right over here. Can you throw a flashbang that affects them? You should be able to. That right there should get him, but I can't see his face. Yeah, it looks like he's being affected. So we'll flashbang him. Flashbang out. That's three kinds of suppression on this guy. He's disoriented from the flashbang. He's poisoned and he's suppressed. Fisher, you're going to come over to here. Can you see him from here? Yes. Take a shot at him just for the fun of it. 52% chance to hit. 
Nope. Nice try, though. Alright. Wilson, you're gonna come over here and grab the meld. Thank you. And you're gonna come over here and get ready to approach next turn. Nine meld isn't a lot, but it's nine more meld than we would have got if we didn't get the nine meld. Let's send you over here, Peters, and get ready to attack these guys next turn. He should not be able to hit anything. Yeah, he just hunkered. Okay, so that makes it a bit harder for us to hit him, but... We can actually go in his ship now. So we should be able to just take him down here. Vandal, you're going to run and gun. Going in for the kill. You're going to run and gun right over here behind him. And you're going to blast him in the back. There we go. You don't have rapid fire, but you should be able to get a nasty hit in on him here. A 9 damage critical, I'd say that counts. Now, can anybody else flank him on the other side to make sure we can kill him? Yes. Koenig can make it to here, which is a flank. Is that a guaranteed kill? No, it isn't. Ooh, I could grenade him if I have to, but I'd rather not do that. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to send Snake Eyes into here and try and okay. capture him. Just because. So if we go for the stun here, 58% chance to stun. Stun failed. Well, we tried. Alright, we're going to try and murder him then. So, can somebody else get into position to get an easy shot on him? Not really. Koenig, we're going to give you the first shot then. Please don't miss. That's a good sideways shoot in there, friend. You got him. Alright, is that all? Is it only six enemies? It was only four... Operation. Really? Four enemies? That is a low number. We must be really hurting these aliens, because they don't have anything to throw at us right now. Curse Gent was a huge success, though. We shot down their UFO, killed the crew, stole what little meld they had, and left them to go crying home to their mommies. That was weird. I was expecting a lot more than that. Look at those promotions, though. Very nice. Greta's a scout sniper. Very good thing for a high-accuracy person. Would have loved them to be in infantry, though. James, you've been promoted. Congratulations. You're going to take Close Encounters or Rapid Fire. I might give you Rapid Fire just because I've given everyone else Close Encounters. And I might make you our... Uh... You don't have Close Combat Specialist, do you? Huh. I might make you our run-and-gun... Um, ready for whatever it is. <laughs> uh, plus 50% crit chance, Rapid Fire, murder person. Just because nobody else is. So we'll do that with you. That also gives you mobility, which is pretty cool. Makes up for your somewhat disappointing natural mobility. Snake Eyes is now a sergeant, so he can get Sprinter. Ooh. Low profile. He is our he is our scout, of course, so Sprinter is what we always take. I don't know I'm surprised about that. But Sprinter is so good, so we're going to take Sprinter. That mobility bonus is massive. Nitro gets promoted, so he gets lock and load now. He must have been one of our highest ranked as well. There we go. That extra ammo and ability to reload in an emergency is a big deal. Gonzalez got a promotion as well, which means they get either Danger Zone, Executioner, or Tactical Sense. I like Executioner. Plus it gives you the most other bonuses. Plus four aim, plus two will, plus one mobility. Hard to say no to that. Alright, Executioner it is. And Greta, I'm going to wait for you as well. But you're probably going to be a sniper. You know what? You're going to become a sniper. No... We'll hold off. We might do something incredibly stupid with you, and we'll see. Two floater corpses, one berserker corpse, 11 illyrium, 16 alien alloys, three weapon fragments, nine meld, two damaged UFO flight computers, and one damaged UFO power source. All right. Let's sell those off in the gray market. That only gives us 60 extra credits, but we'll take it. It doesn't do anything else for us anyway, so we might as well. We've got a lot of stuff in here. A whole lot of stuff we could sell if we needed to in an emergency, but we probably won't. Might sell some of our laser gear when we upgrade, but people want to try and buy those off us, so I don't know. Now, beyond that, is there anything else we need to be doing? Oh, there totally is. There totally is. We have to launch some satellites. We've got three to launch, and if we don't launch them now, we don't get the cash bonus. So, Mexico, enjoy your satellite. That'll give us a $35 funding per month increase. Sure, launch that sucker. I know there's no interceptors in North America. We're dealing with that soon. We're going to launch another one here to Canada. There you go, Canada. We're going to launch another one to the U.S. as well. There we go. We gained the air and space bonus in North America, which means that aircraft and aircraft weapons are cheaper to build and purchase than they normally are. So, that's awesome. 
Now, what we have to do next is we have to make sure we protect them, because if we don't, then we're going to be seriously regretting it. So we're to the hangar, view the aircraft list, and we're going to send a couple of our planes over there. We're going to transfer you to North America. Buckeye Ingram, you're going to head over there, send one of our more accomplished pilots. We'll send Ogre Jensen over there as well. There you go, and we'll send one of our damaged planes. We'll send Tex as well. There you go, confirm. And I think we're going to try and order one more interceptor for each location. This is part of the reason I wanted to wait, though. Now they're only 140 credits. We saved 120 credits, which is almost the cost of a whole other plane, by just waiting until the end of the month. So we're going to order one interceptor here, just to make sure we've got a whole bunch of them. Order one more here. We'll see if four is enough. I have a sneaking suspicion it won't be, but we'll find out. Go into engineering. We're also going to want to make sure we build some laser weapons. So, our laser cannons are only 63. That's pretty cheap. Pretty incredibly cheap. That's what we need, right? These are the plane weapons. Yep. Long, medium, medium, low, but they're boosted up because of the uh, super capacitors we have. Just double check, make sure I don't buy the wrong thing, because I'd hate to waste my cash on these. Manufacture two of those, only takes five days, which is great. And that'll give us the ability to arm up our new planes. There you go. And with that done, that means that our plane situation is a lot more powerful. Now, we could also start building some armor. We don't have a whole lot of money left, though. And if I want to build Aegis or Banshee tier armor, it's pretty expensive. We're going to need to start building some soon, though. We're also needing to go to the research lab, because I, yeah, I didn't start a project. That was really dumb of me. We lost a bit of time there. But whatever, you can't win them all. Might go for advanced power armor. Cyberdisc autopsy would be nice as well, because they're very quick. We'll start that for now, because we can learn a little bit more about the Cyberdisc we're fighting that way. Same with Mechtoids. I quite like that. Just so we can know what skills they have, so we don't run into people who are ready to gun us down at all opportunities. So we're going to quickly do this project. And there we go. That would have been bad if we forgot to do those things. Now that should be fine. We still have a good amount of money left. We'll get even more in a moment monthly, so that'll be nice too. More money to spend. So let's just uh, spin the globe here and get the council report, and then we can end the episode. Incoming oh, okay, here we go. Transmitting encrypted data. We are extremely impressed Look at Germany. The the <laughs> Poor Germany. They've gotten beat up for a long your time. Results were beyond our expectations. Awesome, though. we got a ton and of cash. Is not a, statement this council makes a ton of scientists, a ton of engineers, three scientists, four engineers. We stopped one council mission, or we completed one council mission, com shot down seven UFOs, stopped a terror mission, stopped four abductions, launched three new satellites, completed 12 research projects, raided seven UFOs, and only let one UFO get away. Very nice. Well, overall, I'd say that was a pretty grand adventure we faced there. We have to deal with Germany and Europe soon, but for now, things are going pretty darn well. Carry Remember, on. Alright, well, watching. we're going to have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing a little bit of XCOM Enemy Within a Long War today. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments below. Thank you again very much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye